Few people doubt that the U.S. Supreme Court will make the final decision on the nation's health care law, but the way the case reaches the high court can matter. And after a number of lower court rulings, the case is now in the hands of a federal appeals court. NPR's Julie Rovner was listening to the arguments before three judges in Richmond, Virginia, yesterday. Even before the court proceedings got underway, supporters and opponents of the law gathered outside the federal courthouse on a busy downtown Richmond street corner. Among those urging the judges to keep the law intact was Kevin Wilson. He owns two restaurants in Richmond and has already been able to take advantage of the law. Last year, he started getting a small business tax credit that helps him pay for his employees' health insurance. That's helped his business in other ways. This has allowed me to reinvest in equipment and maintenance, which would have otherwise been impossible in this economy. But across the street, opponents of the law held their own rally, sponsored by Americans for Prosperity and the Tea Party Patriots. Americans for Prosperity President Tim Phillips quoted the late President Gerald Ford as saying a government big enough to give everyone everything is also big enough to take everything away.